Hello friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline channel and in this video we will see how we can install CentOS 8. For demonstration, I am going to install inside virtual machine but the same thing you can use inside any physical server. So before start, please guys subscribe to VFX Pipeline channel and hit this bell icon so you will see the notification of all upcoming videos. So first thing first, how we can download CentOS 8 and for that you can just simply go to Google and type CentOS 8 or just type CentOS, you will reach the website. The first link is CentOS.org, just click there, get CentOS now and you will see the options if you want to download the ISO or download through torrent it's up to you just click and you will see the link of uh, the country that you are in so right now I'm in Malaysia so I'll see all the Malaysia links here and uh, let me just click anywhere and you will see uh, all the files here and the interesting file here it will be like if you want to directly download the ISO file then you can click on this the size will be 6.6 .6 GB or if you want to download through torrent then you can just download the torrent file and just uh, use this inside your big torrent or whatever torrent application that you are using perfect so with that now let's just see our files that we have and uh, yeah i already downloaded the centos 8 and centos 8 is uh, the version is centos uh, 8 and uh, 1905 so this is important here so the this is the recent version okay let's just go inside our virtual machine and just create a new virtual machine uh, the virtual machine software that uh, you might using some different one maybe uh, virtual box or anyone uh, but it's fine like the, the typically the process will be same so let's just create a mp1 for linux and select red hat so you will not see centos maybe there are some who show the centos oh yeah we see centos but uh, the interesting thing is there is no CentOS 8 here in this version but there is actually Red Hat 8 is there because Red Hat uh, released previous to CentOS so that's why in this version we have so let's just select Red Hat but instead of this I will just select uh, CentOS 8 so this will be the name of my virtual machine but I don't want this to be here let's just change the location to my D VMs linux and uh, it's good to organize your vms in a way that uh, you can easily uh, transfer to some other places so centos 8 and this will be that hit ok and uh, select this folder ok so now my centos 8 will be go in this location hit next the size this is uh, you depends on how much drive uh, disk space available in your system uh, 20 GB is recommended uh, for me it's like I want to do some more research let me just put 30 here and uh, when you want to create some virtual disk this is uh, you need to select where you want to split virtual disk into multiple file or store in single file I typically select the single file and uh, customize hardware so yes that's what we want to do uh, ram 2 gb is okay let me just give the 4 gb ram because we have 64 gb so it's fine processor uh, number of processor let's just give the two number of cores is also two everything fine now let's just go and uh, hit close and so here our things are updated let's just finish this all right so here we see this is this is the empty virtual machine created here with centos let's just go and edit this virtual machine settings because we need to add the cd or the iso file so now let's just go inside cd and use iso file browse and uh, browse will go back to our data and uh, apps and os and centos 8 CentOS 8 ISO we will select and after that we are good to go hit OK and start your virtual machine so once you start you will see that okay you want to install or test yes we want to install this so let me just go hit select the install and hit enter and uh, now it will just uh, first uh, load the installer installer uh, menu what are the things that you might need to select the partitions and all so it will be taking a little while but uh, it will come you usually this interface is anaconda they call it anaconda installer 
perfect so now we have the mouse visible here and uh, let me just close this one so we'll get more space select the language which you want to select i will select english english india and continue and uh, it depends on what language you want to select so here we see some options they are changed from CentOS 7 uh, installation source is local media that's perfectly fine installation destination this is one which we need to configure so let's just click there and uh, you will see that uh, 30 GB file is there and storage configuration automatic okay looks like everything is fine i don't want to change anything let's just hit okay and now you see that all good and we can start begin installation but before that one more thing that is very important which is this software selection what you want to install so here we can see by default it's saying that server with gui which is uh, you will see the graphical interface if you want just server you can install server or minimal install but uh, let's just select server with the uh, GUI it done okay so looks like everything is default uh, set the time zone wherever you are so right now I'm in uh, Kuala Lumpur so let's just select select uh, it's the Kuala Lumpur okay so it is a Kuala Lumpur here and hit done so all good let's just begin install it will ask you to create root password and user creation so let's just create a root password no problem and for testing purpose you can use any password you want and but later on it's recommended to use some strong password let me just create a user for myself Rajiv Sharma uh, it's not Dharma Sharma why okay perfect so now my username will be R Sharma and I don't want to make this user as administrator let's just add some password so same thing you can do with your user creation once you hit done it will create perfect so now it's installing and installation take a little while it depends on what packages you selected so here you see it uh, is installing uh, 1304 uh, packages and out of them it depends on your your computer speed and your disk speed how much fast it will be doing the installation let's just see the performance here and so far with this installation we see uh, there is CPU uses is uh, fine and the RAM uses is increasing here up to 23% because the virtual machine is started so that's why it will definitely take and the disk uses will be increased because now your disk is uh, uh, all the virtual machine files are actually from your disk so this will take a while and uh, I will continue my video once all these uh, packages are installed and uh, then we'll see okay so i'm pausing this video right now all right so our installation is almost finished and uh, here in the end you will see this is completed and uh, centos 8 1905 installation is complete now it will ask you to reboot just click on reboot and it will reboot with the installed CentOS. So even you have that, okay, so this is the, what you will see on the screen. It will ask you to select the kernel. Right now we have one, so let's just hit enter. Perfectly fine. And it will start the CentOS server operating system. Perfectly fine. Now it's actually asking for uh, accepting the license. Just click on this license and uh, hit I accept and done. Finish configuration. And now it will ask you for login. So the user which we created, Rajiv Sharma, and that the password, whatever user that you created. So this is what you see here your display perfectly fine and uh, go to terminal first thing we want to do is we want to uh, update our centos server so go back to this and right now our connection is off so we need to turn it off like just hit connect and it should connect fast yeah, it's perfect uh yum update 
and this should be uh, root only can do this so let's just go with root first and yum update okay this is also looks like change from centos 7 i see centos 8 app stream base extra so the repos are updated here and there are updates available here so we want to update that these are 200 mb updates there might be some kernel update yes kernel is update here firefox core python and the good thing is uh, this one shipped with python 3 by default so that's very interesting so let's just go in new tab and type python okay why it is saying python is not found okay python 3 so you need to type python 3 and python 368 is by default installed in centos 8 that's very very good because now these days we all are working on python 3 not on python 2 okay we exit from here let's just go back here and see what is the status of our update it takes based on uh, whatever your internet is speed and uh, once it's installed everything will be fine let's just explore a few other options what we have here and let's just go here perform text editor so yeah i mean with that you can actually have your full centos 8 server up and running and you can install whatever services you want to run on this server and uh, use it for your enterprise level inside your studio or wherever you want to install uh, the CentOS. It's very good, very stable. I personally like CentOS. Many of the services, for example, email server or chat server or web server, I use CentOS and uh, in future I'm going to use more and more CentOS 8 and uh, in coming videos I will show you what are the key differences between CentOS 7 and CentOS 8 what are the benefit you will get from installing this CentOS 8 so stay tuned please don't forget to subscribe VFX pipeline channel and enjoy your CentOS 8 so that's it for this video I will see you in my next video thank you guys